Good evening, everyone. I am Aislinn Gai, who is the president of the Global Bridge Consulting Team. Today, we will show you how Bioneer can become one step closer to fulfilling its goal of becoming the leading healthcare company in the world. But before we begin, let me introduce the team. Starting with the Eigenim, our chief marketing officer, followed by our chief operating officer, Hannah Hope and Aitalina Shistakova, and myself, Aislinn Gai. So Bionia wants to become a leading global healthcare company in both disease diagnostic and the prevention system. Even though their financial health is still improving, we need further improvement in both sales and the operating market. Further, the total market capitalization of the biotech industry is 152.4 trillion with over 20,000 competitors. But Bionia's market capitalization is 533 million, which is not even close to capturing 1% of the total market share. Although the biotech industry is difficult to get into due to the heavy initial investment and the government regulations, profitability rate and the growing demand are what makes the competition intense and what makes biotech company industries attractive. So positive growth in the industry continues to attract new firms to engage in competitive actions and operate not in push, but in a full capacity. So in order to stay competitive and secure growth in the future, Bionia needs to seek a new market strategy. In order for Bionia to stand out in the market, it is important to use their strengths to tackle advantage of the available opportunities. One of the biggest strengths that Bioneer have is highly differentiated product and talent management. At the same time, opportunities in the market are growth and support of biotech companies and the increase in customer attitudes towards healthcare. However, unstable global supply chain is causing a huge threat to Bioneer in delivering the medical instruments globally on time. So what can be a Bioneer's next weapon? That's a good question, Anflun. Bioneer has a weapon that will not only contribute to stopping the spread of infectious diseases, but it can be a stable revenue generator in the years to come. The World Health Organization has already identified several priority diseases with pandemic potential. In order to tackle future pandemics, as well as current diseases, we need an effective surveillance and response system. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Q PCR is the solution. So where should we start distributing Iron Q PCR first? To find out which country to go to, we looked at where we can find the highest frequency of lung diseases, tuberculosis, STD, HPV, and how many have been infected during the COVID-19 pandemic in each country. We have identified the suitable countries India. India scores exceptionally high on lung diseases, tuberculosis, and it had the second highest amount of infected COVID-19 patients. As well as iron qPCR is a fit for the previously mentioned diseases, India is also the right target market due to its growing population, estimated to reach 1.45 billion by 2028, making India the most populous nation. We can also see a growing middle class that will enhance their purchasing power over the next 10 years, including with respect to medical devices. So India is among the top 12 destinations for biotechnology worldwide and ranked as a third in Asia Pacific. Their, marketing, their market is growing rapidly as of 2017, and their industry is rated at 44 US billion dollar, while it's expected to reach 150 billion by 2025, which is almost tripling the number. At the same time, the number of companies in the biotech industry is around 5,000, with more than 5,000 being startups, and it's expected to reach 10,000 by 2024. So now it is time for Bioneer to penetrate into the market. To find the right city inside the India, we focused on the data of our world city health rank. Here, only highly populated cities were mentioned, and our final recommendation landed on Pune, because it got the overall highest score. Some of the features we used to evaluate are the number of hospital beds per person, air and water quality, sanitation, which is also important for medical centers to operate and getting the right and accurate test result. Based on our further research, Pune is a highly advantageous location as it has low real estate costs and easy access to the capital markets, customers, and suppliers of Mumbai. Moreover, Pune has a well-developed infrastructure which connects Pune to other major cities in India. The city also has a thriving business environment as the Maharashtra government implements schemes to boost foreign direct investment in the state. Lastly, Many of the leading private hospital services are concentrated in Pune due to the presence of a talent pool from high quality medical and engineering institutes. 
Having said that, however, the city still struggles with public health care delivery due to the fact that Pune is one of the cities with a high COVID-19 caseload. Even if we now know the country and city that is suitable for distributing RNQ-PCR, there is still a very important question remaining. How can RNQ-PCR stand out in the Indian market? As it was previously mentioned, the number of bio companies has been increasing and are expected to grow in the future. And obviously, international competitors such as Abbott, Mirex, Kiagen, Roche, Bergton & Dickinson, and domestic competitors such as Mobile are present in Indian biotech market. We picked products that were somewhat similar to RNQ PCR in detecting multiple diseases at once and made a comprehensive analysis using these criteria. Products, scope of detection, reference price, global presence, sensitivity, runtime, weight, dimensions, and adventures in general. The main players in the Indian biotech industry that are supplying medical diagnostics equipment are Biomirix, Kiagen, Roche, and Becton Dickinson. After analyzing the products they offer, it can be concluded that there are no products that are similar to RNQ-PCR that detect the same amount and kind of diseases, and all competitors' medical equipment are bigger in size and weight, which makes them more difficult to transport. RNQ-PCR is less sensitive to temperature, has shorter runtime, and its main advantages are multifunctionality, complex testing, accuracy, ease to use, and full automation, which doesn't require a high skilled workforce for companies to have. We now know we now we know that the majority of companies use a cost plus pricing strategy for determining the price for a product. However, since Iron QPCR is an innovative product with unique features, price scheming or value based pricing strategies are considered to be the most effective. Price skimming is setting the price of a new product high and then eventually lowering it. Value-based pricing strategy implies setting the price based on the actual or perceived value of the product, which is how the product will improve the customer's life. In case of Iron QPCR, it helps our target customers to increase efficiency and improve operations flow. However, since Indian customers are highly sensitive to price, and price scheming implies setting the product price high at the beginning and then lowering it, the customers might not accept the high starting price of the product. Therefore, we suggest buying here using a value-based pricing strategy, considering Iron QPCR's innovation and Indian customers' price sensitivity to capture value of the product and to be within the price range that our target customers are willing to pay. Iron QPCR satisfies various needs of its customer, specifically increases quality of patient treatment by accurately detecting multiple infections at once, saves time of the workers through full automation and multiplex testing, and delivers results within 30 minutes. We identify that Iron QPCR serves for multiple purposes, but whose needs is specifically does it satisfy? That is a great question that we need to address. So we have a product, a place, pricing, and our next crucial step is to introduce promotion. This is healthcare B2B marketing. The first step is market segmentation. We divided segmentation based on our end users, private hospitals, clinics, and laboratories. From the table, you can see that they have positive growth potential. After the segmentation process, the next step is targeting. Our most important B2B buyers are private hospitals and clinics. However, B2B marketing is about end users and those hospitals and clinics. Several people are involved in the buying process. The chief medical officers are in charge of choosing the right medical equipment. But it, when it comes to the decision of purchasing, hospital administrators are making the final decision. To understand everything about SMO, we created a buyer persona. We researched their demographics, business goals, media habits, and pain points. The chief medical officer is female or male, middle age, around 45, 55 years old. When it comes to choosing suitable POC device, they want to choose affordable, secure, user-friendly, accurate point of technology that would generate revenue and contribute to the health and well-being of every patient. As we saw, they use Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn respectively. So now we clearly identified our client. How can we approach them? We found out when our chief medical officers want to purchase equipment, more than half of them go online to do their own product research. As you can see, in B2B healthcare, our buyers turn to the internet to gather information. So what should Bioneer do to effectively attract them? Firstly, maximizing search engine optimization utilization. The biotechnology market is highly competitive. SEO can help the company appear at the top of the search results to ensure customers find Bioneer's products before competitors. 
Secondly, improving strategic content creation and personal connections. Indians use the internet to do almost everything these days. By analyzing by a persona, we can see that in terms of media habits, they use Facebook and YouTube. We looked up Bioneer's Facebook page and noticed some of the issues that could be improved. First issue, when searching for Bioneer's official Facebook page, the company was not on the first top list of similar companies. Secondly, the content is only in Korean, which creates barriers in terms of the language. And thirdly, the content is not updated regularly. To create relationship with potential clients, they need to receive relevant, applicable information from digital content. Another aspect is personal connections. From our internal source, we found out that India values personal connection, especially when it comes to business. One of the ways to connect with other doctors, department managers, and procurement directors is using LinkedIn. When using LinkedIn, Bioneer can show their products, their core competencies, and present themselves as a company representative who's willing to help anyone who is curious about their brand. Outsourcing with a local marketing agency is also an excellent opportunity that we can suggest. Local marketing agencies make an analysis of current market trend in India, proper business conducting, governmental regulation, and legal aspects of the market. By connecting with a good healthcare marketing agency, they can assure the most effective and cost-effective ways to increase their market share. The just mentioned marketing strategies are effective because they are aimed at our recommended target customers in India. However, after our marketed research and interview with Indians, we have come to the conclusion that to secure high stable revenue growth in the years to come, we recommend Bionair to establish a joint venture with one of the already established Indian companies in the market. Establishing a joint venture has several advantages, such as getting access to your partner supplier channel, expand your audience, and you are now eligible for government funding, such as the funding called Invest India. Moreover, it decreases your credibility to your potential customer in India, as they already trust the big Indian companies. We know from our research that Indians rely on established entities and word of mouth. Bionair needs to establish its own subsidiary in order to secure a portion of the Indian market, as well as its neighboring countries that are struggling with several of the same health issues as India, such as respiratory diseases among highly dense populations. We also know how big of a challenge it is to secure transport delivery. By going into India, Bionair can tackle this issue and get its foot into one of the fastest growing biotechnology markets. To go into a joint venture in India, Bionair must first choose its partner. Here we recommend Abbott or Johari Meditech due to their already well-known credibility in the market. Abbott is known for high quality products and it has had constant revenue growth since the beginning. Juhari Medit is another re recommended option because of its good reputation and commitment to IP protection of its own products as well as partners. After choosing its partner, an MOU must be signed by both partners, stressing the uh, foundation of the joint venture agreement. There are different kinds of joint venture Bionair can enter, but we at Global Bridge recommend equity joint venture as this structure is ideal for long-term joint ventures. We have identified companies such as Desan, Shirar and Associates and Morula, health tech that have long knowledge in helping foreign companies going into joint venture with Indian companies. So we recommend Bionair to use their service to ensure the success of the partnership and to make sure that all the legal aspects are taken care of. We especially recommend Morula as its specialization in, is in health technology. We in Global Bridge believe that by using our strategy, Bionair will be able to effectively communicate the value proposition through our suggested marketing methods. Furthermore, steadily integrate into the Indian market through joint venture networks and knowledge. Also, ensure stable revenue growth and lastly, provide opportunities for further expansion into neighboring countries. This is our first recommendation strategies for Bionair. Due to our limited time, we will finish here. However, we have more recommendation and analysis to show how Bionair can become the leading glo global healthcare company. So contact us for more information. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Team Global Bridge. Um, I'm opening the floor to the judges for questions. Oh, yeah, I have one question regarding. Um, so, well, first of all, great presentation, and thanks for the presentations. And you guys uh, recommend us set up a, a joint venture with Abbott or other company who is already in molecular diagnostic field. So is there any reason, do you think, is there a synergy between Bioneer and Abbott to, to set up a JV?
the, yeah, what, what will be the synergy between yeah, Pioneer and Ava to form AJB? Thank you for your question. If I understand it right, you are asking if there's a synergy between Abbott and Bioneer? Yes. We believe that both of these companies, they want to make a difference with their products helping people. And we think that doing it, going into this joint venture together, they can actually make a bigger impact as Bioneer had the technology and um, Abbott already had the market in India. Yeah, I would like to add, and since Indian customers, we, we, as we already mentioned, Indian customers are, rely on already established and well-known entities. That's why we looked up for the companies that have good credibility and high quality to ensure the success of Bioneer going into Indian market. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank so you. why we are asking that Abbott is our, the Abbott is our competitor in the market. That's the reason we are competing with that the global company that is the practically very difficult in the, the joint venture with our competitor. That's the reason. Anyway, so anyway, the good, you know, the great, you know, the presentation. So I'm very impressed with like, you are in a short time. There are many the good insights. So especially like the, some of the competitor or you know, the segmentation, or so, you know, the, the customer segmentation, very impressive, the hospital, clinical, and then some data, this one. So, so Regarding the, I want I want some the more you 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 pick up the, like the India first, right? So also you know the, we are we have another you know, bad experience with India market with the, the bio also. <laughs> we try try try, but you know, not succeed. So still we are trying. So anyway, the Indian market is very important in the bio side because we the, the population is you know, almost the twelve million, the billion there. So in the case. Uh, I want to more like the, in the case that the, that the West in other the Asia is not only for the, the, the India right they are saying also in the other in the countryside in the case after okay we are contact we are you know the but uh, uh, we are you know the approach we enter the like an Indian market you think about you know, how we can the other like the country like the Bangladesh no no that there are like the Pakistan and the, but there are many like the, the the, you know the, the the country there in the case how do you think about that so we can the india we can utilize the, we can utilize the india to attack you know the, the other like the the neighbor countries yes that was the plan so we wanted to have this joint venture also to secure uh, the delivery of your products so imagine you are establishing this um, subsidiary in pune that can be the starting point and then it will be easier to reach out to the neighboring countries because of distance and because of more similarity in culture and customer preference um okay. yeah anyway the, there are also another very similar the, the information we are still you know we are the study investigating in our company anyway the, thank you thank you for the you know, the good you know, great you know, presentation thank you thank, thank you, you. And thank you very much to Global Bridge.